So Steve, we're in one of your vineyards in Napa and you've been working with lots of different viticultural techniques and vineyard management over the years. VSP, is it a friend or a foe for Napa? Um, boy, foe, because really great wines, there's plenty of great wines from VSP, but we're always trying to do better and we're always trying to deal with the challenges and you know the advantage of VSP is that it gathers light and and so when Napa was replanted after phylloxera in the 90s late 80s early 90s we went to a lot of VSP because there was a lot of research in other grape growing parts of the world uh, made the, mainly Europe and the northern half of Europe that um, VSP was making better wine and a lot of the regions people really loved were do well with VSP so we planted a bunch of VSP and we learned that it gathers too much light for us and so we we learned that um, you know that before we had very shaded canopies went from but a little bit is good a lot is better is not necessarily the rule with viticulture it's always balanced just like wines everything has balanced we're looking for balanced light balanced fines balanced everything and so we swung all the way to there and so now the sort of thinking is that we need to um, put cross arms on our VSP and try to, to get more diffuse light but some shading orient our rows so that the the sun comes down over the top at the hottest part of the day doesn't hit it from the side there are some of the early ones they thought you wanted the sun to hit it from the side and there was just too much sun on the fruit so we've we've sort of gotten away from that now and kind of going back to the older idea of the protect from the sun but just not as much as we used to super so you're going back to the old ways you've been you're actually starting to plant your first peral again and you're going to a bit more California sprawl. What is California sprawl so the, for someone that doesn't know? The old California sprawl was that the, all the shoots just flopped down on both sides. And so the, the vines looked like a, if you remember the Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street, that's what the vines looked like, just all flopped down to the sides. And that's the California, that's the California sprawl. The California sprawl does not work when the vines are too vigorous because what happens is every, the, the canes all fall down on each other and build these mats and no light penetrates. But with, with balanced vigor, so we achieve with cover cropping or the rootstock or the right site that the, the California sprawl, if the shoots can kind of stay somewhat upright and just kind of somewhat come over and let light can get through there, then it's phenomenal and it's really what you know that's really our goal and what we try to achieve with all of the trellising that we're working on now is to achieve that filtered light that uh, that is perfect in a naturally balanced california sprawl vineyard mm -hmm.